Hello YouTube and welcome to something a bit different. Uh, we are here taking a look at the brand new Echo device that was announced about a month ago or so. Just shipped for the first time a couple days ago as well. So really excited about this. This is the Echo wall clock which is compatible with any Echo device other than the uh, Fire TV Cube. I'm sure they'll get support for it later. Uh, but what this does is it's a visual representation of any type of alarms that you set from the Echo device and all that kind of stuff. And now you can see that. And it'll, of course, it works as a normal wall clock as well. So without further ado, let us dive on into this really quick. And as usual with any Amazon product, it has the easy little tear there. At least it's easy when you're not trying to film at the same time. So we'll see how well I can do this with ease here. Oh, look at that. There it is in all its glory. The Echo Wall Clock Quick Start Guide, and it tells you not to touch the, the little hands there because that's all automatic once you get things set up. So, uh, we can take this out because we really don't need this, I don't think. If I can get it out. Excuse me? There we go. <laughs> and then let me try to get this off. Here, hang on. Let me, let me do this. Let me make it easier. All right, I'm glad I did that because there was no way I was doing that with one hand. So here it is. It actually looks a lot nicer in person than I was expecting it to. Because on the pictures on the website, it looks, you know, it looks good. But seeing this in person, it looks really, really nice. Has some lift to it and everything. And of course, you do get four AA batteries, drywall screw, and a drywall anchor. And here's the back side of it, all the different LEDs that are on there. Obviously for the timer functionality and all that good stuff. And now we just need to get the four double A's in there and we shall be set to begin our lovely setup process, which should be pretty easy. And of course, the Amazon Basics double A's and uh, we'll get those in. All right, so now that we have the batteries installed, now we can go on to the next process, which is getting the Echo to be paired up. So all you have to do to do that is say, Alexa, Pair my Echo wall clock. Okay, press and hold the pair in the button on the back of your Echo wall clock. Hold up to 10 seconds until the light on the clock's face pulse is orange. Pairing may take up to a minute, and your light will turn blue once paired. You can also pair or unpair your clock in the Alexa app under the Bluetooth settings of your Echo device. All right, so now that we have that set up, it, both devices are now in pair mode. So if everything goes to plan, uh, this should light up blue, and then this should change the time to whatever your Echo device is set to, and you should be set up. All right, so we are blue now, which is great, and there it goes. Sort of. Needs to do a bit more, because <laughs> it's, it's currently 542, so we'll see. Hopefully it continues to go, because it's not officially just, oh, there we go, hang on. Oh, this is going to take a while. But it says not to touch anything like we saw earlier, just because you don't want to break anything. So now this is going to go all the way to 543-ish. And uh, we'll be all set, and then we can have our alarms and everything be physically there, which will look pretty cool, I think. So really looking forward to seeing what these LEDs look like once we get to the correct time. All right, it stopped at 12 o'clock now. It's still pairing, so I'm going to give it some time. I wasn't expecting it to stop because I was really enjoying watching it kind of... I don't even hear anything happening either. It's a really quiet clock, which is nice. If it starts moving again, I'll move in closer so we can see if there's any noise coming from it. Oh, there it goes again. All right. Let's see if there's any noise happening. I hardly hear it moving. That's awesome. And again, like I said before, I really love the design of this. This is the only color that you can get for this clock right now. I'm sure they'll add more down the road. But once you see this in person, it looks really, really nice. I'm quite the fan of it. So now we should be heading to 544. I think it's finally done pairing or close to it. I'm sure the light will stop blinking once we get to the correct time. All right, we're about 20 minutes away now. 15-ish. 
I don't know if the microwave clock is correct, but we'll see. And there we go. So it's a little bit behind. So now that that's done, I'm sure she's going to pop back on and say it's paired or something of the sort. By the way, the new third generation Echo Dot, the speaker in that is so good. Absolutely love that as well. So we'll see if anything else pops up here. Oh, I'd imagine that means it's done. That looked really nice. So if it works like it should, this should be a visual representation of any alarm that we set. So let's say, let's set, let's do this. Alexa, set an alarm for one minute and 30 seconds. One minute and 30 seconds, starting now. Oh, <laughs> there it is. And then once it gets to the minute mark, it'll actually light up all the LEDs and then count down from 60 to zero, which I think will look really cool. So while that happens, I guess I'll kind of outro this video a little bit. Really happy with the quality of this product. It's really, really nice to look at in person. I don't think it pops up so well on camera. Because like I said, in the picture, it, it looked nice. But it wasn't anything that was too, you know, I don't know. But in person, the way the grays and the tones of the colors look really, really good. The LEDs are nice and bright because now it looks like we're on who wants to be a millionaire at this point. <laughs> so that's, that's always cool. But very much worth the 30 bucks if you want a visual representation of your alarms in the kitchen. So you don't always have to go and ask the, the Echo device, oh, how much time is left on our timer? or anything like that. Plus it looks really cool. I'm sure they'll add like a black model and maybe even a gray tone one uh, down the road. But for a first generation of this product, I really like it. I'm really happy with the $30 and uh, really hope this helps you uh, decide if you want to buy it or not as well. So look at that, now we got five seconds left. And there it goes. Oh, that's actually pretty cool too. Alexa, stop. Very, very awesome. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, I'll leave the link in the description if you are wanting to purchase it as well. And I'll talk to you guys next time. See ya.